All right, Shalom, Yashallah. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Rather North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rukh Next up, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We teach them this truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And a double shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness to sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and one of the brothers was able to get up today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And we're just going to go into a lesson, you know, on blowing that trumpet, sounding that alarm. You see, because that's the time that we're in. All hell's going to break loose in this place called America and all around the four corners of the earth, but mainly in this place called America. So again, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you know, the ones who got the wisdom not just in the scriptures, blow that trumpet, sound that alarm. This is Joel 2 and 1, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And that's right. And that's what we're doing. We're blowing a trumpet. And what is a trumpet? A trumpet is a loud playing instrument. But that's not the trumpet that we're blowing to Zion, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. You see, the trumpet that we're blowing to our people, Zion, is this word. You see, giving the warning about the oncoming danger that's about to befall this place called America. You know, so that they won't be caught off guard from the from the own from the oncoming danger that's coming. You see, so we're we're giving them on for one of um the danger that's coming to coming here to America. We're blowing that trumpet. This is um <coughs> a, sen a, a one of the synonyms for a trumpet is proclaim, announce, broadcast. Declare, you know, so what we, you know, we are announcing, you know, that, that what? The death and destruction is coming to America. We are giving our people warning, you know, we're make we're broadcasting, you know, you got the TV, how they broadcast things on TV. We're broadcasting, 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 broadcasting yep. this word on the YouTube, on the internet, you know, this is, um, Joel 2 and 1, blow you the trumpet in Zion. Sound sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And that's right. And that's what we're doing. You know, we're blowing that trumpet. We're sounding that alarm in the holy mountains. You know, and that word holy means separate. So uh, we're sounding that alarm to the separate mountains, which consist, which, which, like, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans. You see, because this word is for you. That's right. And it reads... <coughs> Like, yeah. And it reads, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. That's right. So the day of Yahweh Bashim al is coming and it's nigh at hand. You see, to what? what? All hell's going to break loose soon. And that's exactly why you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, need to be trembling. You know, at the fact that the men of the Lord come out there week in and week out, out on the highways and byways, you know, and throw up on all kind of videos on YouTube dealing with the truth. Okay. You see, giving you warning because the day of the Lord is at hand and it's fastly approaching. I got, I got, I'm gonna breathe again. I got a definition of alarm. Mm -hmm. This is Joel 2 and 1. Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And when you look up that word uh, alarm, it says a warning notice. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> another one is to give warning to, uh, to strike with fear. You know, and what we are the where the what are we getting where where are we giving warning of? You know, basically we bring out the scriptures and we show you and we show you through the precepts of the Bible, through the uh, precept upon precept where it's written in the Bible what that there's gonna be a uh, mass uh, hurricanes, there's gonna be earthquakes. You know, there's gonna be martial law. You know, in the streets of America, there's gonna be famine, race riots. There's gonna be FEMA camps, uh, throwing people into concentration camps. You know, to force you to take an RFID chip. You know, and that if you don't take it, you're gonna get uh killed by guillotines. But if you do take it, you're gonna get killed by nuclear fire. You know, these are things that we are us uh, uh to. These are things that we're using. You know, to spirit and power held by Shema Shai to strike fear into our people. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. This is Second Chronicles chapter five, verse eleven. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And that's right, man. You know, we persuade these so-called Negroes, Latino Americans. You know, not with our own words or our own opinions of what we think is right. We're persuading. You know, we're threatening these so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, 
with the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You mm -hmm. see, because what? You know, we know the terror of Yahweh Bashim al Shah and what they're capable of doing unto you. You see, all you got to do is open up the, um, the Bible and read the different accounts. You see, Jonah getting swallowed by fish, fire and brimstone coming down upon, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, all these different plagues and calamities coming upon the land of ancient Egypt, you know, and so forth for on. You know, so because we know the terror of Yahweh Bashim al Shah and what they're capable of doing unto you, we threaten you, so-called Negro Latin Americans, with the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. We warn you. That's right. We're trying to strike that fear, you know, within you, you know, and that's our duty as prophets. I got to preach up real quick. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can go back to warn. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied. That's right. You know, the prophets that was before Jeremiah and us, you know, of old, you know, Abraham, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Habakkuk, you know, you name it. All the prophets that was before Jeremiah and us of old, what did they do? They prophesied. You know, which prophesied means to say before something happens. And that's the same thing we're doing today. We're prophesying and letting you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, know their own things is going to come down the pipeline before that actually happen. Exactly. That's how we're able to give warning, you know, because the Lord has put on us the spirit of prophecy. You know, we're able to understand what the scriptures are saying and actually uh, break them down and give you that warning. This is uh, um, Jeremiah 28 and 8, and it reads, Both against many countries... And against great kingdoms of war. Right. You know, so we're doing the same thing the prophets of old did. You know, prophesize against many countries and great kingdoms. Because America's a great kingdom. You see, so we're pro we're telling you so-called Negro Latin Americans, you know, the um, what was going to come to this place called America and all around the four corners of the earth, but mainly to this place called America. You know, we're telling you that what? War is coming. You see, um, you, can, you, can, you can feel it in the air. You know, World War Three is coming. You look in your news, you got America talking about sending missiles to these other countries. These other countries talking about sending missiles back to this way. You see? Um, you're going to have um, um, race riots. I mean, yeah, your race wars, civil wars, and so forth on. That's right. You know, that's what we're getting our people warning about. And it reads, of war and of evil. Bad times. Just like the brother was naming earlier, you know, your own um, your diseases, you know, um, um, your, your famine of food and thirst, your own um, race riots, your martial law. You know, and so forth on. That's what that's what we're giving you so-called Negroes, Latino and Americans warning about. And it reads in the pestilence. You know, again, your diseases, you know, um the, the um bird flu, um uh, what is it? Um the black plague, I think it's the black plague. Um yes, the black death, the black yeah, plague. Got the water. <coughs> the um, H one N one. H one N one the water, bro. Got the Ebola, I believe. I'm not mistaken that one is the black plague. But you got the the the, the, the which is a flesh eating disease, mm -hmm. you know, you got you had the flu, um, kill a mass number of people. Uh, the f death toll for the flu is an all time high. But what they try to really sweep that one under the rug, you know, and this is it, and it's going to get worse, you know, because Esau so quiet man has a whole bunch of diseases, you know, stored up in these in the CDC that he's going to unloose unleash soon come. That's right. I got two precepts. Mm -hmm. This is Amos chapter three. Verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? That's right, man, because when you go back into your ancient world, you know, when, whenever something, whenever um, danger was coming, you know, the watchman that was on the tower watching out for, you know, something bad that was about to happen, what would he do? He would blow the trumpet and everybody in the town, the city, you know, would be afraid. They would get scared. Well, here it is, 2019, you got the men of the Lord, who Yahweh Bashim has revealed has revealed the wisdom not just in the scriptures to. Here it is, the prophets are blowing the trumpet, you know, giving warning, and ain't nobody taking heed, ain't nobody afraid. You know, they're just, you know, living their careless life like ain't nothing going on, like ain't nothing about to happen. That's right. And it reads, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? That's right. Should there be bad times in the city and the Lord has not done it? Of course you have, Bashima, I have done it. Because what? It tells you in Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. So, Lord, if he's the one creating evil, then that means what? He's the one doing the evil. That's right. And we're warning our people. Say, look, if you want to be, you know, caught up in the Lord's destruction to continue on in your wickedness, you know, but if you want to be uh, free uh, from that, if you want to, uh, uh, a better word, if you want to, uh, you know, avoid the punishments that Yahweh Shema Shai, the fierce anger that the Lord is bringing to this place, then you got to take key to the sound of the trumpet. You got to repent. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the last one. Ezekiel 3 and 17. 
I'm gonna read down the 19. Well, matter of fact, before you get that, can you get one more? Yeah. Can you get that Jeremiah 6 and 17? And then get that. Okay. Jeremiah 6. six and 17. This is Jeremiah chapter 6. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, I said, Watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. And that's right, man. You know, we're the watchmen. You know, again, start with our apostle of the great millstone down to brothers like ourselves. And what are we watching out for? The uncommon prophecies. Mm -hmm. You see, we're watching out for you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, best interests, so that you won't be taken by these uncommon prophecies. You know, the danger that's fastly approaching. But they said we will not hearken. That's right. But what? Two-thirds of our people, they said they will not hearken until the sound of the trumpet they were blowing. You see, and they ain't literally got to say they won't hearken. Just by them walking past us week in and week out, not taking heed to the word, not looking at any of the signs, you know, not watching any of the videos we're throwing up on YouTube, that's them not hearkening. That was it? Mm-hmm. Gun. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. You want, you want just 17 or you want me to read down to 19? You go 19. Son of man, I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's right. Yahweh Bashimashah has made us watchmen unto the house of Israel, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's right. That's what we do. We give you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans warning from Yahweh Bashimashah. You know, we let you know what's getting ready to come down the pipeline. We know we let y'all know about the race riots, martial law, famine of food and thirst. You know, we let you know about the diseases. You know, the 200 missiles of the grenade that destroyed this place called America, right along with the chariots, with the word that calls UFOs. You know, we're giving you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, warning, telling you to repent, turn back softly before oncoming danger, you know, touches down here in America. That's right. And this is a commandment from Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know? This is what Yahweh by Shema Shai is commanding us to do, you know? And it, and it reads, verse 18... <laughs> When I say on the unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood were required at the watchman's hand. That's right, man. So, you know, if we don't go out on the highways and byways, you know, week in and week out, you know, if we happen to just just not go out there one weekend or whatever the case may be. You know, when the wicked, uh, you know, two-thirds of our people die in their wickedness, then their blood is going to be required our hand, you know, because we shouldn't have been out there to give them warning so that they can turn back sorrowfully from their own, from their abomination, their wicked, filthy acts. Mm-hmm. Because the Lord told us to warn the people, you know? Yep. And it reads, yet if thou warn the wicked... But if we warn two-thirds of our people, you know, who are committing abomination, wicked, filthy acts... And he turned not from his wickedness. And he don't turn back from what he's into. Nor from his wicked way. Mm -hmm. The same wicked man. Uh, slack it. You good. Nor from his wicked way. And he turned not from his wickedness. Nor from his wicked way. He, the, he shall die in his iniquity. Mm -hmm. But thou hast delivered thy soul. That's right. So, uh, so if, um, the wicked don't turn back from his wicked way. The wicked is going to die his iniquity, you know, his wickedness. But what? We delivered our soul. Why? Because, you know, we gave them the message. We told them to turn back. They choose not to. Then that's on them. We delivered our soul, you know. Lord will be some of men. That's right. That's why we got to warn our people, you know. Just give them, whether they hear or whether they forbear, forbear, you know. The Lord commanded us to go out there and warn the people, you know, by doing these videos. You know, posting your video, videos up throughout the week. You know, uh, going out there on the highways and byways, you know. And we do these uh, lessons also ultimately for the elect to seal the hopeful elect. Because what? The elect are going to hear the warning. The elect are going to receive the message and repent. You know, and that's who we do these epistles for. For the elect of Yahweh by Shema Shai to wake them up. Because unless the elect is woken up, the destruction is not going to come. Like I tell you in Revelation the 7th chapter, you know. And Yahweh Shai can't reign on the earth, you know. And that's what we want for Yahweh by Shema Shai to bring righteousness to the earth again. That's why we got to warn our people. That's right, bro. You know, so knowing that this word is only for the elect, again, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, the ones who have the wisdom, not just in the scriptures, you need to sound that alarm, blow that a trumpet. Because the elect are hearing it. You know, the elect are waking up. The scriptures say this gospel of the kingdom that we preached to all the world, then shall the income, you know, us pushing these videos out, they're making the income quicker and quicker. You know, the Lord shortening the days. Come on, bro. You know, so with that, I hope you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans have been edified. Before we go any further, we like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises 
to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach us the truth according to the Bible and rule well, and a double shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Until next time, shalom. Shalom.